Success through failure. No person in their right mind would embark on a journey predestined to fail. People don't like to fail. We deny it, we blame others, we make up excuses, and sometimes we just hide from the consequences of failure. This is because we hate accepting failure much more than failure itself. But in reality, failure is just normal part of life and nature itself. Even evolution and genetics are based on failure. You know, genetic learning is through adversity that ensures future adaptability and survival. Failure is a situation and a feeling not to be feared, but to be understood. Because without failure, there can be no progress. Much like anything else in this ever-changing world, Failure is dynamic and intimately related to our progression as human beings. When we don't reach a predetermined goal, we tend to feel like we failed in life. But regardless of outcome, life will go on, and we're always given another opportunity to fight on with the advantage of a new game perspective. In the book The Rise by Sarah Lewis, she argues that the only way to attain mastery is through failure. Mastery, as opposed to perfection, It's much like wisdom and based on positive progression through life. In other words, you can't achieve mastery without progression, and there can be no progression without failure. It is common to confuse failure for mistakes, but they are not the same. Failure is complex by nature and at times inevitable. Mistakes, on the other hand, are usually made by lack of practice or intention. Mistakes often lead to failure but this is not always the case. Professional athletes often commit hours and hours to practice in an effort to decrease mistakes and achieve what they call perfection. Along the way, with every repetition and every effort, countless of mistakes are made. Yet, we don't consider practice a failure because there is learning in each instance of mistake, which will keep us progressing towards overall success. Unfortunately, even after intense sacrifice and flawless execution, athletes can fail to win competitions. For a well-trained athlete, losing would be considered a failure, but in reality, it's mastery. Flawless executions tell us nothing about the complexity of this world, which in an athlete would include nutrition, genetics, sleep, psychological status, weather condition, hydration, and many more. By training hard to decrease mistakes, we certainly lower the chance to fail. But even when we make little to no mistakes, we can still fail, and only through this process we achieve true mastery. The complexity of our world forces us to look for simple explanations to our own failures. In medicine, this scenario is encountered with frequency. The science of health and disease is extremely complicated and only partially understood. Furthermore, the basis of disease is often multifactorial, given that our bodies are interconnected machines. When a patient passes away due to a terminal illness, we usually self-justify our job as physicians by convincing ourselves that the patient was going to pass regardless and that there was nothing else medicine could have done. The truth is that life is not infinite, and often, present-day medicine has little to offer in certain diseases. However, denying failure only serves to give us a satisfying feeling of contentment. This prevents introspection and blinds us from envisioning scientific innovation and potential treatments. No great invention was ever created out of failure denial or with lack of necessity. There is always another angle, there is always another perspective, and another point of view that only failure acceptance lets us see. We should constantly strive to decrease mistakes through hard work and dedication while embracing the possibility of failure. Our attitude towards failure often determines our success. Mastery is not achieved by accepting the reality of failure, but by taking ownership of our mistakes and by spending time and effort thinking about how to overcome the complexities of our own failures.